Look at this enormous cactus. Here is my hand to comparison. Oh my gosh! And so many huge euphorbia pieces, yucca pieces, or yucca. Oh my gosh! So many. Okay, god dang it! Someone is trying to film. Look at all of that, and all of them are rotten, which is so sad. Oh my gosh! I would love to rescue them. Look, there is rubber plant also. Oh no! Who made it? Who did this mess? Okay, careful cactus. Yeah, that's sad. Really sad. Svetlana, the firefly in the room. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that oh what the heck, it's enough crying, it's enough laying in bed or just staring at the wall. It's time to do some business because if you've been missing in about a week or so, I received a whole package of random, beautiful, gorgeous, real and common houseplants. And I'll be honest, I almost did not do anything to them. Only one houseplant, which is this gorgeous phil philodendron verucosum, right? I actually took it out of the bag that it was backed in and I put it inside of this see-through pot because it actually became to be very weak looking, you know, it did not hold the leaf itself so I was a little bit worried about it. So I took it out of the bag and I noticed that it did not have any roots, it was just a freshly cut cutting so I was really worried about it and I took it and put it like so I have a little chopstick over here to you know hold it in place so it won't use any power to hold the leaf but will you know will use power to root and so far nothing new going on over here but I think it looks so much better right now it's not that wilty anymore which is you know the biggest plus and you know since that i had a couple days i mean every single day right now i'm trying to spend with my mom with my sister you know just to take our minds somewhere else and it's been pretty hectic week because you know every single day you try to do something different and you know what today is the day when my sister needs to go to work my mom also have some you know tasks to do and i am left all alone at home because my boyfriend also have some you know job so so today I decided, okay, it is now or never enough, you know, sitting without any makeup, you know, it's time to go to the shower, it's time to put some makeup on and it's time to look gorgeous. <laughs> so this is my first attempt. Let's see how this will go. So today I won't, you know, make only myself beautiful. I also want to take care of my houseplants that I received 
one week and a half ago so one week and a half i had been holding these plants like for example this philodendron in bags like this of sphagnum moss and i watered them a little bit but at the same time i see that on the very bottom there is a little bit too much moisture so i took a couple plastic pots with myself you know some glasses and i'll try to put them in this plastic pots the same way i did with this very awesome and in that way i will check on on every single plant and i will know what's going on inside because right now i have no idea if they have any roots or maybe they are rotting or maybe you know something is going wrong i want to go ahead of that so i'll take you along without further ado i will take you a little bit closer to myself I actually do not have any table to put it over here, you know, so it will be a little bit better for you to watch. So I took a box that I had that is pretty tall. So let's see how this will work. Join me, grab some drinks or snacks because it's going to be a pretty chatty and hopefully pretty positive video. Positive video. So let's do that. All right, guys. But before going in today's video, I really want to give a quick shout out and a huge thank you to Lucille to Morgan and to Lillian because you ladies oh my gosh it was really really exciting to see you know some tips from you and it was so exciting to chat with you and you know to talk about the reasoning and you know maybe something in return so it was so much fun thank you so much for you know for supporting myself because it really feels weird whenever something like this happens I I freeze to be honest <laughs> whenever I get a notification that somebody t tipped me it's like weird it's weird so I don't do not want to take to make it awkward or anything but really thank you from the bottom of my heart this makes me feel really special and makes me feel worthy and thank you so much for every single one of you for all those beautiful comments i received under my previous video this meant the world to me i cried along i laughed at one comment and you know it really brightened up my days recently so thank you so much for every every single one of you but a special morgan lillian and lucille girls you are fantastic i had so much fun to chat with you and morgan we still need to chat with you because what the heck <laughs> anywho thank you so much guys and let's get to today's video all right so since i had this uh, melanocrysum in my hand let's start from this dude i have some pots i have little saucer to put this pagnum so let's see what is going on inside because i'm really curious if all of those cuttings will be still unrooted or maybe some of them already are so finally i feel curious to do it <laughs> the worst thing is that i still do not have any sphagnum moss with me so i will be able to use only the one that i have you know from this shipping and oh my i was so i was right so this is as you can tell a cutting but the roots on this one are still pretty weak the good thing is it looks like it's not rotting so it's good the, the bad thing is that it's the only node and there is not a lot of space between the note and the root so okay right now i'm starting to worry a bit but we will try to work on that okay let's take this small black pot i would love to have all of them in a see-through pot but you know not happening i will try to make this sphagnum not as tight because you know it was pretty squished and there was no air in between so in that way there will be a little bit more ear pockets and i think in my opinion please correct me if i'm wrong because i'm pretty new to this sphagnum moss propagations i hope it will prevent it from rotting i really hope because this is exactly what i'm trying to avoid you know so guys how did you like my intro of today this is actually a footage of a lot of different days you no know, I've been trying to take my phone and just do something, film something I was doing. Please don't think that I was, you know, enjoying all of the stuff every single day. It, it's definitely not true. It took me a while to finally go somewhere and do something. So, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, guys. I think this should work perfectly. I really hope my plan is good. 
and if not i am i really will try to to upload this video asap from filming so you will you know correct me in time i'll leave all of those tags because they're really helpful since i never ever had any plants like this <laughs> in my collection they will be really helpful okay plant number one all done beautiful melanocrysum for now it looks great no yellowing no damage from cold or something so i'm feeling pretty positive about this one let's put it over here i actually have a growing light over here so i am moving the, my plants around you know so all of them will receive as much sunlight as they can because right now it's pretty foggy days in lithuania it's real real autumn okay i also have this zip bag with this alocasia fry deck right and the lady who sent me these plants said that this is the best way to grow this plant and guys i want to show you something look at those tiny tiny roots showing up do you see i think these are roots but they also might be shot so not sure but soon we will find out the zip bag really do the wonders so i am keeping it in here and i really would love to put all of these plants in ziploc bags so soon i might go to some kind of store and look for bigger ones because i have only small bags like this so not ideal for now but for this one works perfectly okay okay another update on this philodendron mycon so as you can tell this one is really happy it's not curly anymore i watered it and i still keep it in the same pot i received it in and for now it looks really happy so i'm not doing anything for it yet also update on this dishidia look at it gorgeous it actually is growing new leaves as we speak so i'm so so happy about it this looks like a really healthy plant i actually do not water it yet because all of the leaves look so thick you know so i am waiting for it to get a little bit wrinkly and then only i will water it even though the pot itself feels so light i just really want to water it you know <laughs> but i'm not doing i can do it i can do it i can work on myself not watering it yet also update on this gorgeous plant perfect perfect no rotting no yellowing perfect also i have my havortia over there but i won't reach it but it's perfect nothing changed trust me nothing changed okay right now let's go to another plant another one we have is this philodendron florida ghost i actually was a little bit worried because on this shelf i had a trips so i took all of the old plants i had over here well most of them i sprayed all of the shelves you know i cleaned everything till the very very edge of everything you know i did my best and for now it looks like these plants are fine no trips on them so it, i hope it will stay this way but anywho this florida ghost is looking awesome nothing changed even the tip of this leaf is looking healthy and happy so for now once again i'm not doing anything to it only spraying it with my spray bottle a couple times a day just just you know for some activity for myself and also i think they kind of enjoy it at least that's how i think it is let's go to another exciting plant and another exciting plant is my variegated syngonia look at it once again very gorgeous plant very healthy plant nothing wrong with this one as well so i'm really excited to open it up and see what do we have okay i really hope this one has at least a little bit of roots fingers crossed guys okay look at it it's really really squished so please have roots okay now oh oh do we have roots please have roots please wait yes okay well syngoniums never disappoint let me tell you okay i won't take too much moss out of the roots because i do not want to damage them but if you look close enough you can peek little tiny white roots over here and over here so this one is really making me happy right now i actually even can see a little tiny new leaf coming up so 
really exciting news on this syngonium. I will put it in this. This is actually a coffee cup that I bought in Cyprus. So it, it was an island that I took a vacation maybe five years ago from now. And you see, this is like a real thing recycling, you know? <laughs> it can't be better than that. It, it works like a perfect propagation glass or dish. So tips for you, always reuse your cups and bottles because they're see-through, so it works perfectly, you know? Okay, let's put you over here. Oh, so excited about the Syngonium. Okay, this one really made me happy. I was so worried when I took out easily you know, all of the sphagnum moss because it's a sign that there is no roots. But then, bam, surprise. Oh, I love surprises. Really do love surprises. Look at that. Look at that. Standing here happily. Really, really cute. And we are done with syngonium. So after filming this part, I will water them. I actually have this perfect watering bottle that I got also from one of you. So as you can tell, I still am using it. <laughs> so gorgeous, gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. I feel like a real YouTuber who is propagating, you know, in see-through dishes, in sphagnum moss, like professional and stuff, very professional. Okay. Right, also another update on this philodendron gloriosum I have. So I actually already opened it up once to see also the condition of this plant. And this is a simple tiny node. Look at it. You can take a better look at it. Okay. So as you can tell, this is a simple node. It doesn't have any roots yet and it's also pretty spooky, but the node itself looks pretty happy so not sure what i'm gonna do about this one yet but for now i keep it in the same conditions you know the lady sent it to me i also see that in this back are some poked holes so you know it can breathe a little bit so i'm a little bit worried about this one not gonna lie but but i hope it will work i mean i'm really trying it stands under my grow light, so what could go wrong, right? Right? Okay, I closed it. Let's put the label back and pray that this plant make it, makes it because this is a real special plant, so fingers crossed it will be fine. I really hope, I really hope. Okay, then we also have this Hoya Linaris. Once again, this one was growing is growing in the same pot I received it and for now as you can tell it's doing completely fine not wilting not yellowing just living the life downtown am I right <laughs> okay and last I think this is the last plant I need to talk about I'm not sure I'm not gonna lie my head space right now is really weird after everything that happened, you know, I just catch myself forgetting random stuff and just, you know, being a mess, to be honest. But anywho, this is the plant that we obviously cannot forget. And this is this gorgeous Anturium. What is worrying me? The tip of the sleeve is yellow, right? But it was yellow when I received it. But the worst thing is I, I'm not sure if this yellowing is spreading or is it the same size as I as it was when I received it? So with a pencil, I will draw a line, you know, on this yellow edge and I will see if it's spreading or not. But before doing that, let's see inside of this bag. Let's see what we have to work with, right? I am really worried about this one. Really, really worried. <sighs> I see roots. Oh yes, I see roots. Okay, okay. Yes, oh wow, okay. Wow, Aviva. I actually see not only roots, but also a new growth. Oh my gosh, this is really exciting. I love Anturium roots. Look at those chunky yellow, yellow things. So gorgeous. Okay, this is not the largest roots, but I mean, guys, this is more than enough for me to see that this plant is actually fighting, growing and doing its business, you know? So 
I will do the same thing I did with all of those plants and put it in a pot. Have this one, this doesn't have any drainage hole, so it will be perfect for sphagnum moss. Oh, actually, something was growing together with the centurium. I'm not sure, should I keep it as a surprise for myself or not? <laughs> but yeah, this looks pretty good. This looks really good. I think this is a perfect plan for finale, right, of the updates. Because it looks like a really happy plant. I'm really happy about it. Okay. Let's put you inside. I actually chose this a little bit taller pot, so, you know, it's a little bit more heavy, not a simple plastic pot, so it it's less chance for it to, you know, fall over because the leaves on this plant are insane. And, oh my gosh, this plant makes me really happy whenever I come into this room because look at this gorgeous thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All I can say is, oh my gosh, I feel so lucky to have it. Gorgeous. All right, so this is an update on all of my plants. I actually have the last one, you know, the Stefania potato thing, but it's still, you know, I did not pot it because it's the winter coming up. So I want for it, you know, to give a little break and later I will plant it. Obviously, I will take you along in one of my videos. But for today, for today, I think I did enough. I already feel a little bit, you know, exhausted from so much talking because it's been days since I was talking this much. So it feels a little bit weird, but also it also it feels really good to be back, you know. I'm not sure if I will be, you know, on my regular schedule as for now, but I will try my best. Let me know in the comments if videos like this still makes, you know, entertainment for you. Because for me it was really exciting to see all of those roots in these plants and just see how they're doing after one and a half week of a transit, you know, to the new home, to the new country. So I hope it was fun for you as well. And before leaving you, let me teach you another language lesson. Yeah, so what should we learn today? Okay, random, really random, but I, I looked at this at this dashidi and I remembered that some people called it a beetle plant. So let me teach you how to say a bug or a beetle in Lithuanian and in Russian. So if you want to say beetle or bug, I'm not sure which one is correct. I mean, beetle is a bug, but is bug a beetle? Not sure. Anywho, <laughs> if you want to say bug in Lithuanian, you need to say wabolas. Once again, wabolas. And if you want to say bug, orbital in Russian, you need to say ZHUK. Once again, ZHUK. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> but this is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope it was a good video for you because I did my best. I'll be honest, I did my best. I'm not that powerful in most of these days, so <laughs> I hope to enjoy this and I really hope to see you in my next one. So don't forget to like this video. Let's chat in the comment section down below and subscribe to my channel. Until the next time.